Simply Scuba presents the Deco Stop Podcast. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Deco Stop Podcast. I am Mark, the scuba diving instructor. I'm joined as ever. Ah, with my that has to have an asterisk, Mark. That has to have Your... an asterisk. This is my last show. <laughs> You're not an instructor not anymore. Uh, technically, I'm an instructor. I just don't teach anymore. Um, or have the ticket and... anymore. That's it, guys. Do. The, 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 doesn't it run out? You've not paid your Paddy subscription or whatever. Oh, yeah. I'm not a Paddy instructor anymore. Uh, there you go. <clears throat> there you go. <laughs> um, anyway. And, yeah, I've um, joined with uh, with Sean, who once uh, went swimming with a um, prime minister from Australia. I did. It was lovely. Uh, I can't remember which one it was because, what, like last year they had about 10 different prime ministers um, no, no, this, this this one was Harold Holt, and oh. uh, a very select few people are, are going to get that joke. Um, I, I don't get that joke, because I don't know who, but yeah, Harold, he's, he's, a, he's a lovely chap, um, <laughs> I'm I, sure. I, I'd stop talking, I'd stop talking if I were you, Sean, because Harold Holt, he was basically a, a yeah one of the uh, the Prime Ministers of, uh, of Australia, he basically just went swimming off the coast and just never came back again one day. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so, well, um, I did go swimming yeah. with him, but, um, yeah, I, it got a bit <laughs> choppy, so I came back. I didn't kill him or anything. <laughs> I mean, was I even born when he disappeared? No, no, this this was in, like, the, the late 60s, I think. So I was, um, I, I was I think, negative I so many years. So <laughs> that's fine. Cool. Well, thanks <laughs> anyway. for um, the conspiracy theory about Sean leaving Simply Scuba because he's actually gone to jail for murdering this Harold Holt guy um, when he was... You do look a lot like him. I, I, I'm wondering if you... Um, yeah, may, maybe you are Harold Holt. Um, I, <laughs> the, I, looked the pressure, ju- I just seen the this picture I've got to you. splitting image of no. him. <laughs> I'm that old and wrinkly. <laughs> that gray anyway, hairs. scuba diving. Um, so, so starting off with the um, uh, the Simply Scuba website. So, first of all, obviously it's Black Friday. Uh, I imagine some what? of you out there would have heard of Black Friday. Um, it's apparently it's a big thing in America, and it's a big thing over here in the UK. Um, or, or it's it's trying to be a big thing. Um, yeah, it, it is a big thing. Look, I need ten Polaroid <laughs> TVs, Mark. They're high quality items <laughs> at a massive discount. It's quality all I the way. I presume they still make cameras. Cam- yeah, I think they do. Yeah, I think Insta, the actual Polaroid cameras themselves, are really, really popular. Uh, it's just if you want to buy a pack of 10 film, you have to remortgage your house. Um, it's oh, one of those yeah. things where you buy a printer, isn't it? Where the, the, you could either buy ink cartridges or just buy a new printer because that's cheaper. Um, <laughs> yes. Just buy a new Polaroid <laughs> camera because it's cheaper than the film. Oh, that's truth. Anyway. So, um, so yeah, so Black Friday, we've uh, we've got plenty of offers. So if you uh, if you have been saving your pennies up and uh, you sort of want something new, something's falling apart, you want to replace it, uh, we've got plenty to uh, to offer. So we've got the the entire Black Friday department. If you just go to the website, there's the banner at the top that will take you to like everything. But um, uh, a few of the deals. So the first is um, sort of most of Simply Scuba, everything own brands uh, except for the watch um, is fifty percent off um we just sort of half the prices uh the watch though there, there wasn't enough margin for it basically so um so no um the, the Thanks, yeah man. you can still buy them i think we have knocked like 10 percent off or something so there is still some money off uh and it is a really nice dive watch um so um yeah if you want something for yourself or a gift for um for your loved one for christmas or whatever you celebrate at the end of the year there you go. Um, the Aqualung i300C dive computer, uh, that's down to £146 at the moment. Um, and all of these deals are, um, or they should be running up until uh, Cyber Monday as well. So uh, so you do still have some time, uh, but of course it's subject to availability. So if they sell out, that that's kind of it. Um, the Aqualung Blizzard Pro dry suit, so a neoprene dry suit, that's, uh, that's just under £650 now. So... Yeah, nice dry suit, Aqualung. Uh, it's got a thigh pocket and everything, so 
very practical. Um, the Mara's Quantum BCD, jacket style BCD, it's got their new sort of SLS uh, integrated weight system and a, um, a very clever pocket system because it's it's like a stretchy stretchy pocket, so whatever you put into it, it kind of holds it in place. Um, that's uh, just under two hundred and seventy five pounds, so it's a lot of BCD for not a lot of money. Um, 10% off uh, everything fourth element, uh, as far as I'm aware. Um, same with Atomic Aquatics, 10% off. Uh, X Deep, 10% off. And Oceanic, 10% off. Uh, as well as other bits and bobs in the Black Friday department. So, uh, so yeah, sort of head over to there. There's also Paralens, um, their Vaquita dive camera. At the moment, for the weekend, you can get it 20% off at simplyscuba.com. Um, and then on Monday, I think it's still 20% off, but for December, it's going to be 15% off. So, yeah, basically, buy it now, it's going to be cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> to to be frank, um, you, you'll still get like that December discount if you want to uh, sort of buy another one or if you, you couldn't, it wasn't in stock um, on the Black Friday weekend. But um, yeah, if, if you've been wanting one, uh, now's the time to buy it. Um, and of course, we have extended returns uh, over the, um, uh, the winter period. Because of Christmas and everything, uh, you can return things all the way up until the 16th of January. So if you place your order now, you have until mid-January to uh, to return it, just to make your life a little bit easier uh, and sort of less stressful, especially if you're buying gifts. Anything with like sizes, um, if, if you want to buy something for someone uh, and it doesn't quite fit, it's not the end of the world. They've got a couple of weeks in January to uh, to return it and uh, sort of exchange it for another size. Cool. Um, and that's it for the uh, the website, as far as I'm aware. I think we did get a few new bits and bobs, nothing overly exciting. Um, but yeah, if you want to check out the uh, the new bits and bobs, head over to uh, to simplyscuba.com, and at the top there's a, a new in um, where it's basically filtered by the the newest stuff that has just arrived. That's crazy. That the new in tab mm. will be about new in gear. Yeah, this week has been heavily Black Friday led. It's it's a bit of a weird one. So pre the previous mm. incarnation of Simply Scuba, we 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 did care about Black Friday, but we we did yeah. bits and bobs here and there, but. Uh, yeah, internet fusion just go guns blazing with it, and it's just like, yeah, Ooh. yeah. okay, Ooh. Let's, let's see what happens. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly that. Hey, it's it's, it's a it weird, is. it's a weird kind of culture here in the UK in that everyone, everybody loves a bargain, but there's yeah. that resistance to Black Friday. They're like, oh no, it's because think... it's Americanized. So many people yeah, don't like the yeah. fact that it's American. It's just like so many people are like. Oh, Halloween. It's just like, why do you even celebrate Halloween here? Like, trick-or-treating is a thing. It's just like, no, it's not. It was never a thing when no. I was a kid. No, no, never. Knocking on strangers' door, asking for candy. No, you don't accept candy from strangers. Are no. you nuts? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, just... I mean, I, I grew up in the countryside, so my next-door neighbour was like a, a hike away from me. But, <laughs> yeah... <laughs> Yeah. I love it. You know, I lived on uh, an, an unmanned road with no lights, like literally, like <laughs> no, you just walk past it and then instantly, like, right, if I go up there, I'm going to get stabbed or something. So yeah. no one, no it's, one went it's up It's Halloween. There. It's scary. It's yeah. supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> it's fantastic. Cool. Wow. That's exciting, guys. So go head over to simplyscuba.com and uh, mm. grab yourself a bargain. Do it. Yes. Um, or don't do it and then they won't do it next year. Yeah. <laughs> so whatever. Win win. Win win. Right, let's go on to social updates then. Uh so first off, YouTube. Uh my first surface interval went live. Um it went down very well, supposedly. It's a very generic one. My my surface intervals are fluff pieces, they're not uh in depth or you know, anything like that, like marks are, but you know, they're surface intervals, they're not about <laughs> in depth stuff, they're just they're just fluff. Um, and yeah, I do yeah, apologise, it was fun. a bit heavy led, uh, USA, sorry, it was a bit USA heavy, um, so sorry about that, but I don't care, it's what it is. The video's up, yeah. there's nothing I can do about it, I ain't refilming mm. it, so, <laughs> and people seem to like it, which is good. Um, and also as well, you would have noticed the first uh, Christmas guides have started to go live, so I think it was the stocking fillers one that went live on Sunday. Yeah. Um, yep. And also, if you're weirded out by the fact that Dive Brief was on a Sunday, we did mention it 
a while back that yeah. we were, we were yeah. the things, deep things dive series change. and one's finished and yeah dive brief is now just going on the Sundays um, but yeah so mm-hmm. Christmas gift guides they're going to be coming live up until the of well they're scheduled up until the 12th of December so yeah wait for that um, and I don't know if Mark's going to film any more after that after I am gone but yeah so that that's youtube not much is really happening mm. because it's all it's, it's all pre-planned it's, it's all pre-filmed yeah, um yeah 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 you know we've, i've been trying and it's, to it's kind of the down season when we get into the winter um, yeah. fewer people are diving unless you're in the southern hemisphere obviously um but um yeah it's it's kind of starts to slow down we start to get ready for uh, for 2022 when the new stuff new um sort of things arrived and mm-hmm. good Gosh golly, there's some interesting stuff that I'm not allowed to say quite yet. But yeah, there's some interesting stuff coming. Guys, there's a new bolt mm. snap with three three heads. <laughs> three attachments. I can't points. think of a use it's, of it yet, but I'm sure there is one. <laughs> it's, it's a ninja star, but they've they've dulled <laughs> the edges, uh, edges down and they've just put a little hook. Yeah. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh yeah. So yeah, that's anyway, that's YouTube. So good good luck mm-hmm. with that. Um lots of cool stuff is happening. Uh Instagram, we're at six thousand three hundred followers at the moment. So I was pushing mm-hmm. to see if we could get to seven thousand by the end of the year, but I've made that more making that more realistic. Six thousand five hundred please hit So you failed, basically. We, no, I haven't failed. <laughs> Oh no, I failed at making the uh, Instagram page the most popular it's been for years. That's such a failure. Oh, touched a nerve. Found it's it, all, touched it. There it is. <laughs> it's, gonna, it's all going to go downhill, mate. It's all going to go downhill after I leave, which is fine. That's yeah, fine. Yeah, because I don't really care about Instagram. <laughs> there you go. Anyway, yeah, so follow us over there. Or yeah. We want to aim to get 10,000, well, I wanted to get 10,000 followers by the end of 2022 um, because that Mm -hmm. unlocks a lot more features. So if you want to be inspired by scuba diving as well as having the odd product uh, show up on your screen, uh, it's 90% lifestyle and inspiration and then 10% product. Yeah, follow us over there. Uh, you uh, You find the link if you're watching this on YouTube. You'll find the link to our Instagram page pinned in the comments or just head over to Instagram, type in Simply Scuba and then you'll find us and hit that follow button. So yeah, just basically follow, 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 uh, follow please. us please over on Instagram, pretty please. <laughs> um, and the podcast, now I'm, I'm on my notes here, so this might be the last deco stop, but Mark has just confirmed to me he's going to continue it, which is really, oh, yeah. really cool. So it'll be a, it'll be a one man yeah. band potentially. I don't know what the future holds. I will be. I'm very excited to find out what happens. Um, but uh, surface interval dive brief, obviously, and our Google. They've all been pre-filmed, or most of them have been pre-filmed. So you'll still be getting those podcasts. Um, definitely the surface interval till the end of January because I've filmed them all, mm. and the majority of our Google has been shot and filmed and edited and scheduled as well. And hopefully, as well, as long as you guys get your questions into Mark. Um, there'll be Ask Marks going live as well over on the podcast as well. So, yeah, yeah. podcast-wise, there shouldn't be too much of a an issue. But, yeah, you know, it all depends on Mark's workload now, whether he has the yeah. time or whether he has the um, you have the information, don't you? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're, we're going to discuss it a little bit later. Yeah. But, yeah, I, I think the podcast, I'm, I'm going to continue. So, so if, you, if, you, if you like listening to, um, to my comforting... Uh, voice uh yeah that that should continue <clears throat> it sounds like um chewing when when i hear you talk it sounds like you're chewing on foil um it's <laughs> taken me seven years to uh, eventually admit that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, i'm joking you do have a wonderful serious <laughs> voice you should have an ms uh, asmr channel <laughs> where you just rub your beard and go Ooh, through the microphone i, I have I have considered because I do listen to uh, to a lot of audio books and uh, and I have actually read uh, sort of books to people before and they're like oh this is just nice I have considered doing that. Um, there you go, right, guys and girls. Books. You need to read <laughs> the uh, uh, Jack Cousteau's book. I've got a few. I've got there a few you go. Jack Cousteau's books. Maybe. There you go. Next year, uh, guys, Simply Scuba is going to become the official Jack Cousteau audio book channel. Find find us an audible. <laughs> <Yeah>. Audible. <laughs> anyway, 
that is that. Other other well, audiobook platforms are available. Yes. Yeah. What on earth <laughs> has been happening in the wonderful world of scuba diving news this week? Has anything exciting uh, happened? Uh, I think so. I mean, most of my focus has been on making sure that that Black Friday is all like organised and whatnot. But I have seen a few things um, sort of online. So the first one is from um, it's basically Paddy and um, uh, National Geographic or technically National Geographic Pristine Seas um, have paired up and they're basically doing a uh, an economic evaluation survey. Because what they want to do is, it's whole part of the um, uh, thirty percent. They basically want thirty percent of the uh, the oceans to be designated as marine protected areas by twenty thirty. Um, and w- one of the ways that they're going to um, sort of help implement this is they've created a, a global study. Uh, and a, a survey that you can take part in. There's going to be a link down in the description below or um, wherever it is, wherever you're listening to this. Um, so after this, you can head over to there. It's more for businesses um, because they, they basically want to assess how scuba diving travel and just scuba diving in general affects your business. So if you sell diving equipment you're a dive center and you sell things if you train divers if you sort of run tours out to certain countries if you take scuba divers out on tours whatever it is uh, they, they basically want to know how this is kind of affecting you and how uh, sort of an improvement to marine life and certain areas being protected would improve your businesses. Um, so yeah, if you can, if you do run a, a dive center or whatever it is, um, find the, uh, the the survey. It's basically on paddy.com forward slash take the survey, just one word, uh, that'll take you to it. And it'll, it'll sort of break down just Fill it out if you can. Uh, that'll uh, that will help them out, and uh, and hopefully, yeah, that can help them create these uh, sort of or expand existing marine protected areas to uh, yeah sort of create these havens for uh, for marine life. Uh, Sean and I we've discussed marine protected areas before. Uh, not all of them are. Perfect. I was going to say they Espe- need to have an especially as- in the legislation by the MPA. It's like, it, it, yeah, it, yeah. It, it depends on which one it is. Yes. Um, but they're, they're, they're basically looking at either implementing new ones or expanding existing ones um, and hopefully um, sort of enforcing or boosting some of the uh, the legislation over what you can actually do in a marine protected area. Because some Ooh. of them, by the sounds of it, it makes no real difference. You can still go fishing in a marine protected area, which doesn't make any sense to me. Um, right. But anyway, yeah, uh, head over to there um, and, uh, and check it out. Um, Next news story is a inquest has been heard to um, to uh, the uh, the British diver uh, Richard Sanders. Um, he dies tragically in a training uh, instance in uh, in Endak in 2019, and um, and the inquest has basically um, sort of concluded it as it was an accidental death. Um, I believe I read somewhere they were looking at uh, immersion pulmonary edema, which is basically fluid in the lungs, because what the instructor uh, described was um, he, he sort of said that he was out of air, but when he when the instructor checked his gauges, he still had half a tank left. Um, but then he started to sort of bolt up to the surface, and um, and yeah, they they kind of reckon with immersion pulmonary edema. Uh, yeah, fluid in the lungs, it kind of makes you feel a bit breathless as if you can't get uh, sort of air. So uh, so they reckon that's what uh, sort of caused the, uh, the incident. Um, terrible thing. Mm. Um, I think a lot of it does come down to sort of cold water diving. Um, I mean, this was in like April time, I think, in 2019. Um, and that's like here in the UK. So it's still fairly chilly cold um, that time of year. So um, yeah, do do take it sort of very carefully and obviously take your, your health very, surf- very seriously. Um, but that kind of does, it, as, as an instructor, it, it's, it's not kind of a, it's not your fault, um, everything's fine now. But it, it, it's a little bit of that, so there, there's a bit of closure there to uh, to a certain degree. Yeah. Um, 
I, um, and obviously, it's not Endac's fault uh, or anything. It's it's just these these things. These happen. things happen. Yeah. Um, that's that's kind of I kind of feel bad for, especially when they name the dive sites um, with these kind of incidents because it it's not really the. It, well, I can't say this unequivocally, but um, it, it's not really the dive site's fault uh, as such. It's uh, it's just it just happened to be that's yes. where they were when they were doing it. Yeah, uh, or when the uh, the incident happens. So um, yeah, it's a tricky one, mate. Um, yeah. Next one comes from the uh, the Red Sea. There's actually a missing diver uh, at the moment. So. Um, yeah, be on the lookout, as it were. Um, so a diver, she was diving off the, um, I think it was Jackson Reef in the Straits of Turan out in the Red Sea. And um, she was diving with um, uh, a qualified dive guide uh, out there on uh, on Jackson Reef. And yeah, just didn't didn't come back. I think the dive guide did come back. Um, he sort of raised alarms and did all that kind of stuff. Um, but since this this has been about sort of four or five days now still haven't uh, sort of found her so uh, so hopefully the story will have a uh, a nice uh, nice ending but out there with the sort of jackson reef you do get very strong currents at times and it, the sea is very deep um there as well so hopefully hopefully there there have been instances where Divers have been um, sort of recovered after days, and they're they're fine. They survived, um, so they they haven't given up looking. The uh, the Egyptian military is uh, sort of actively involved in the in the search party. So uh, so hopefully, there'll be a, a happy ending uh, at the end of this story. Um, and finally, ending on good news for um, for the uh, endangered mako sharks. Uh, conservationists are um, sort of rejoicing because there's a um, a new ban on the uh, the retention of North Atlantic short fin mako sharks. On the uh, the twenty third of November, the International Committee for the Conservation of Atlantic Tunas. Um, has taken sort of the the first step towards reversing the uh, the decline of the uh, sort of shark population and uh, and yeah they're, they're basically bringing in new plans to um, basically say no you know what you you can't catch these uh, these mako sharks anymore um, I think the I think it was Canada the UK Senegal and Gabon Gabon um, they they were kind of like leading the charge to um, to sort of bring this uh, sort of new legislation um, sort of forwards. So um, yeah, hopefully that's going to uh, sort of continue. That's going to be cemented and um, and yes, yeah, hopefully expanded. Um, so yeah, not, that's not good to catch um, sort of short fin makos in certain areas. Obviously, there, there's going to be. Um, like borders and stuff but uh, but yeah hopefully it will create a bit of a, a respite a, a safe area for these mako sharks uh where they uh, where they mm. even if they are caught mm. yes rupert i think that is amazing yep yep okay what else <laughs> what else were you oh you finished oh no okay cool no no we're good. no the the evil postman. <laughs> ah, okay, guys. Well, that's what Rupert <laughs> thinks of Mako sharks. Yeah, I think that's really, really cool, man. That um, they're protected. I mean, I'm looking at it. Like, mm. is it? It's only for two years, though. So it's not oh, permanent. Yeah, from 2022 uh, and 2023. I read the entire. But yeah, it's better than nothing. But apparently, the EU is the worst. Mm. So 74 percent mm. of Mako shark catch in 2020 mm. was from the eu yeah. that's yeah, not we're not in the eu anymore i suppose i guess so yeah because it's, it's not even like europe it's actually they actually state the european union and their mm. their fishing their fishing teams or whatever we we thought more of you i didn't i didn't <laughs> You knew all along, didn't you? Yeah, I knew all <laughs> along. <laughs> anyway, so that's the news. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. ma mainly sad, but it, it is what it is, I guess. Um, mm -hmm. Ending on a high, good old Mako Sharks. High five the Mako Sharks. Um, put a shark fin in the comments below, please, on this video yeah. if you are watching it on YouTube <laughs> for the Mako Sharks. But Mark, mm -hmm. what is 
your product of the week? I'm very curious. So my my product so of the week, um, because we've suddenly had this cold snap uh, sort of here in the UK. You're telling me, man. The, uh, the, the We're getting snow. Team. We're getting snow. I mean, we're not. We live in I, the south. I can say we 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 get we're wet. <laughs> It's just the rain gets colder. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So I'm looking at the uh, the Santi BZ200 heated vest. So um, so this is basically a, um, a vest that you you sort of throw on as like a mid layer or even sort of over your um, your dry suit undersuit and. It in itself is a, um, a sort of a thermal core, as it were. So if you just wear it by itself, it's basically half the thickness of the BZ400, what's well, called the BZ200, um, and that's going to help sort of add a little extra insulation over your core, over your main torso body to keep that a little bit warmer. However, there are flexible heating elements running throughout it. So what you can do is you have an external battery that then connects to a special valve in your dry suit. And then on the inside, there's an electrical cable that you connect to this vest. And when you push the button on the, uh, on the battery on the outside, your vest starts to warm up. So it keeps your body core nice and warm. So then all the blood flow starts to increase and it gets to your extremities. So it keeps you nice and warm during your dive. But if the battery does run out, okay, the uh, sort of the active heating starts to switch off, but you, know, you still have that extra insulation over your core. So it's still keeping you nice and warm. Um, so yeah, I, I was thinking about this when I was walking my dogs the, um, the other day uh, at about like six o'clock in the morning. And I was just like, oh, it's really cold. And where I just put my coat on and my coat's cold. It hasn't warmed up yet. I was like, oh, I wish I had, yeah, just an external battery just to push a button and it starts warming up like, like heated seats. It's all those kind of features uh, where, um, <laughs> I well, I rented I rented a car in uh, in Norway once, and they're like, "Oh yeah, it's got a heated steering wheel." I was like, "A heated steering wheel? That was wonderful." That, <laughs> that's such in in the cold, all these little things, and um, and we were on a um, uh, a snowmobile, and you know they have those little like thumb triggers as the yeah. accelerator. Yeah. Um, that that was heated and you're like okay i get that because my, my thumb is mm. pressed against that throughout the uh, the whole time yeah like, i kind of get that that's heated that's quite a nice little feature um yeah yeah uh, just heated things in in the cold winter time lovely um definitely 100 yeah. and that's why guys if you can't <laughs> afford a heated you should definitely undersuit or vest you should definitely mm. invest in the fourth element arctic hoodie um, oh yeah that's nice hoodie which you can get a little <laughs> bit cheaper uh, this Black Friday I think I yeah, think that's, yeah, yeah that's there true. you go boom plug done <laughs> guys but I'm, I'm just yeah, I'm just bruising sorry I know you're talking man. about the vest but I was just looking you yeah. can get the hashtag flappy snag hazard mug guys for £5.95 cha-ching and even oh, better gosh. the simply scuba wrist diving lanyard it's one pound ninety five. <laughs> yeah, it's just a lanyard, but <laughs> it is half price. Um, yeah, because they do the they do the fourth element Arctic hoodie, which is basically a hoodie made out of the fourth element Arctic undersuit material, which is made um, out of whales. No, it's not, you fool. Um, but they they also do a zero therm, I think, or they used to. Um, so yeah, you, you you get your options, but yeah, definitely check it out. Um, if if you're in the market for just a nice hoodie that you can just wear throughout the winter time, because it's it's the same material. So even if it rains, it still keeps you warm. It's designed to keep you warm mm -hmm. when it's wet. Um, if you do get hot and sweaty, it just wicks it away, so you'll stay nice and dry. Um, yeah, definitely nice nice hoodie. Um, definitely worth checking out. Definitely. And the vest as well, which is the original product. Um, treat yourself. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> it's a nice little bit of Santi, mate. You can't go wrong with a bit of Santi, can you? Yeah, they know what they're doing when it comes to exposure protection. I think it's, they do. It's kind of, yeah. it's kind of what they do. <laughs> and even, even PPE, mate. They were 
they were pretty big in Poland mm. for their PPE. They did oh, all yeah. the frontline workers, mate. Their bright orange suits. Yes, which indeed. Were really, really cool. Yep. But yeah, but do you remember mm. that COVID? Do you remember that was a thing? It's not anymore. Yeah. It's finished. Yeah. So swiftly yeah. moving on. It has not finished. Guys One day. and girls, we just One need day. to learn to accept it, which is what the world is yeah, doing. Yeah, Sean's, Sean's just showing his true colours. He's a denier. I'm an anti-vaxxer. <laughs> uh, everything, <laughs> mate. The, I'm the not. Pandemic. I'm, yeah. <laughs> pff, pff. Don't think so, mate. Not in Britain. I mean, we're yeah. in Ireland. We could have just shut everything out. We could have been all right. We could have done New Zealand. Although, mm. when you open back up, then that's when you get your first wave and everything's crazy. That's anyway. It. Well, I mean, we're, we're heading in the right direction, at least. Um, yeah, I mean, there's we, enough people who we, we could be Germany right now. Not to talk about politics, but we could be I Germany. I know. Bless them. Bless yeah, them. Yeah, they're, they're really suffering at the moment. Um, Bless them. Thought, thoughts that's, and prayers to Germany. That's what people yeah. say, isn't it? Thoughts and prayers. I mean, that's... That's how pandemics happen. It's just, yeah, these sort of peaks and troughs and everything. Um, yeah. Anyway, scuba diving. Scuba diving. Scuba diving <laughs> is fun, but mountain biking and snowboarding is fun na 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 More funner. More fun na 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 Cool. Anyway, right, guys, this is why everyone's tuned in, even though this episode is called Stay Classy Scuba Divers um because that's what i'm going to call it uh this week's question is about the future mark it's about (gasps) what you're going to have for dinner tonight what is it that's the question what are you having Uh, for dinner tonight uh i i honestly don't know what Um, there's there's plenty there's plenty of stuff i'm thinking of a uh, a mushroom like a creamy mushroom um something sweet Um, just a creamy mushroom yeah raw creamy yeah just just a single yeah yeah in the middle of the plate with some cream poured on it that's it (laughs) sounds delicious yeah nah nah mate i'm having a (laughs) celebratory curry Mm. yeah as a my my final instant fusion meal yeah anyway the actual real question is is the the, the future so obviously guys and girls if you don't know i'm leaving this is my last ever episode of Deco Stop. Don't worry, though. It's not the last time you're going to see well, me, unfortunately, for all those haters out there. Uh, you will still yeah. see my ugly mug until the end of January. Because, like I said, yeah. I'm doing the surface interval uh, just to space things out a little bit. But I've obviously been a part of the channel even before Mark. I know that sounds crazy, but that's the truth. Um, there was and then, a time before me. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah there was believe it or not believe it or not there was um so yeah so not that i was integral at the beginning i was just like hi i, I help out what do you want yes. um it's a snorkel <laughs> i'm bored in the shop can i can i come and do something for video yeah. thanks um and that's where it all started anyway yeah so i'm excited so obviously whenever an edit, editor takes over something when someone takes over something they either change things or straight away or there's like a a slow progression so they continue doing stuff for a bit and then obviously that's when they start making the mark so mark what is the future of the simply scuba social platform now i'm saying social because obviously youtube's youtube is a big part of that but obviously yeah. we do have a nice strong growth on Instagram, which I know that you're going to adhere to and you're not <coughs> going to ruin in any way, shape or form. Uh, uh-huh. And also as well, the podcast as well. I just want to know what uh, what, you, what, what you're doing right now. I want to know your thoughts. I want to know the plan for everything for the next <laughs> my, 10 years my, my five, of your yeah, life five, at Simply Scuba. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway. Nah, I mean, yeah, what's, yeah, what's, 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 what's so the deal? Starting off with... So the podcast, the podcast is going to continue because um, nice. it's quite an easy one for me to do, um, and arguably is easier without a second. Uh, <laughs> it's more boring without a second. <laughs> yeah, there's there's going to be limited banter. We we are in discussions with uh, with others to yeah. um, to get like a, another. Because it's that, it's a matter of the one deco stop I did a couple of weeks ago. I was like, this is fun, and I'm like, I'm really bored of talking to myself. <laughs> I was like, oh my god! Yeah. Don't get me wrong; it was yeah, fantastic it's nice. to edit. <laughs> yeah, it's quite nice to have a, a back and forth. Um, so yeah, we we are in discussions and um, sort of thinking about either like a, a second presenter um, to that's just straight out replace you, um, or to get 
or to get guest presenters so they they change once a week or something or get something there's there's a few things that we're planning in the short term it is likely just going to be myself because it's easier said than done just to get someone on a uh, on a podcast uh, in this day and age with yeah. um, sort of traveling backwards and forwards but um so yeah going going forwards in the next couple of weeks leading up to christmas it's probably just going to be me um i'll go over yeah anything sort of interesting that uh, that i've spotted online something uh, um, something worth looking at but um, but then after that when we start to get into 2022 we're likely going to have uh, sort of someone else um, for me to chat to and um, yeah we'll We'll see. Time will tell basically it's, it's reliant on you know, other people yeah. um, YouTube YouTube is hopefully going to stay sort of very much the same. That's going to be my sort of primary focus, sort of keeping that back um, and focusing on products as well. Um, haven't done as many products uh, as sort of recently, but yeah, with the the twenty twenty two range, a lot of the manufacturers they're starting to release a lot of the stuff because during pandemic, of course, where they had planned to release like exciting new equipment. Uh, and they had all these like marketing plans to sort of drum up all this build up of interest and then release it to the public. Um, but then obviously no one was allowed outside of their houses. So it, it, they basically put that on the back burner. We'll, we'll announce this next year when, mm. um, when the pandemic's over. Uh, and then <laughs> what was, pandemic? Yeah, exactly. Then it was 2021 and it was still kind of here. So they've still kind of shelved it. So, um, yeah, I think next year they're, they're going to be a bit more comfortable about uh, sort of releasing their uh, their next uh, sort of line of equipment. Um, so, yeah, I'll be uh, I'll be doing videos on those. And, yeah, we, we have budget now for uh, for doing some exciting things with said videos uh, and mixing it up a little bit. So that'll be quite interesting. Um, Instagram. Instagram, there's there's going to be a decline in um, sort of posts. <laughs> because it's, yeah. the, the overall plan is uh, is that, yeah, Instagram is a useful platform, but it's not really our primary platform. We're, uh, we'll still continue to do some stuff, but I think it's just going to be reduced. Um, the amount it's, of time it takes to uh, sort of create and do certain things on it, it's just, it's not really our primary platform. Um but um, but yeah, most of the stuff is going to be on YouTube uh, and the podcast. Basically, there's going to be the weekly podcast and then YouTube. You might see a decline in the short term of like numbers of shows after uh, after January. But um, depending on if we get a, a new editor to uh, to replace Sean or just a, a trained monkey, to be honest, um, then oh, oh, oh. We'll, we'll get back up to, um, to to where we were before. But yeah, I think it's going to be a bit more sort of product based where we're sort of focusing on, OK, this is uh, such and such and this is who it's designed for. This is the, the, the pros and cons. Okay. I want to spend a bit more time on that because I mean, peeking behind the, the gold curtain of Simply Scuba. Oh, um, yeah, last time I saw it, it was great. a rusty brown that curtain, <laughs> mate. It's upgraded uh, since I've gone. That's funny, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, we got a new budget um, <laughs> <laughs> for a curtain. No, so yeah, I mean, I most product videos were just single take, just boom, there it is. This is uh, sort of everything about it. Uh, whereas now we're going to spend a bit more time, a bit more love on the, on them. But it's not going to be on every single product. So you're not going to get a, a video on a, a towel or something. But the the main like hero items, that's where more time is going to be uh, sort of spent and a bit nice. more production value is going to put on those. So yeah, yeah, it is going to be interesting. Um, yeah, we'll we'll see. Time will tell, basically. Um, that's, yeah. that's about it. Yeah. yeah, that sounds good though. It sounds interesting. Like if you're gonna, you, you're gonna you're gonna go down that revenue or that avenue. Sorry, not revenue of of mm -hmm. products because that's really where the channel started. It was yeah, it's all product based. I mean, focus. Gr granted, back in the day, and even when you first started, it was right, Mark. You've got two hours. Here's 20 products. You need to knock these out. So, I'm <laughs> I'm excited to see what you what you all the, the the team come up with in terms of making products, but actually having the time and giving the the, the attention mm. to detail. 
Um, cause even like in the unboxing videos and stuff that we've done, um, previously, mm. you know, they are one, one take one hits on. Obviously through, throughout yeah. the pandemic, you're having to try and pull focus on items on yourself that, you know what I mean? Like yeah. self filming is really hard <laughs> to do. Um, yep. you know what I mean? So, so yeah, to have, limited to have equipment. that, you know, yeah. Is exciting and, and and it's it's good to go back to that. Not necessarily the grassroots, but like I said, every every person has a different, or every editor has a different take. So like obviously with with Kelvin, mm. when the, the the original one of the original editors, or, or should I say, the one that really stuck it in, there were editors before him, yeah. but they weren't very yep. good. Sorry if you're listening <laughs> to this. You're probably not, but it's the truth. Not. Kelvin yeah. really, really, really laid the foundations um, mm. to it. And obviously he he was, you know, was very uh, product-based. And then, you know, near the end of his his reign, it was advice-based. You know, it was really, really cool. Mm. And, um, and then mm. obviously that's James uh, then took yep. over from him. Uh, and yep. then he was, uh, again, he he carried on the mantle with what, what Kelvin was doing. And then that's when he started adding kind of the elements of you know, what was it the uh, the dive site like reviews and stuff video, like that. Yeah, but it was it was and lifestyle stuff. But it was still very serious. Um, and then that's when at, at that time it was it was split works. Obviously, I was working on hiking the swim channels, and I was like, make that a bit more funnier. Put a gag in yeah. there. Make it a bit more yeah. lighthearted. And then <laughs> he left, and then I was like, yeah, we, 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 we're doing fluff, mate. It's all about the pro yeah. bit of products, but fluff. And that worked massively. It did mm. massively. Yeah. Um, nice social media. So, yeah, 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 it's funny that. Um, but, uh, no, it's, it's, it's good to see that, yeah, you're not, not necessarily going back, but you're concentrating on what what works which is really really cool but yeah you, you you're taking your time with your product more you're almost by the sounds of things man you're coming a bit more of a a bit of a tech channel that's kind of the route that I'm, well that's the vibe yeah. that i'm getting which is yeah yeah because that, really cool. that was always yeah that's that's always been like the foundation in that we are a, a resource so that divers can have the best information about the equipment that they're buying. Mm -hmm. They're not just buying something online from a picture and a paragraph of text. Yeah. It's, it's physically someone showing them around and how the thing works and you can get a sense of scale mm -hmm. and what the fabric kind of moves and feels like. It's, yeah, it, it's better. And in this day and age when people either won't or can't go to their local dive center, yeah, it's it's essential. So yeah, awesome. a bit more production value in that direction. We're um, we're hoping for. It's exciting, man. I'm genuinely, I'm I'm really excited. Mm. I know a lot of people like when they leave a company, they um they cut ties or anything. But I think where I've been working with the channel for such a long time, obviously, I'm going to stay subscribed. Um, I'm still going to comment on the videos. Um, so oh, I can't fun. wait to comment on Bolt up <laughs> suck. You suck, Mark. <laughs> and this new person comes in and is like, You suck. Bring the other guy back. <laughs> uh. No, I won't do that. It's 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 exciting and I think, yeah, from from what you've spoken about, I'm actually really excited to see what goes on. I mean, granted, when it comes to the mm. products, I'm not gonna watch them, but uh, I'll I'll give it a like. No, it's not. So yeah, I don't really, really care about a regulator. So you don't do <laughs> videos on bolt snaps, Mark. <laughs> Uh, unless they bring out something like remarkably interesting, <laughs> then yeah, there, there probably won't be too many bolt snap videos. Cool, <clears throat> yeah, no, it's, that sounds cool, man. I'm glad you're keeping the pod because I love the podcast. I love doing the podcast. That was that yeah, really was my baby. That really was mm. my baby. I really took that on. Yeah, um, yeah, and it is. It is nice to get just all of this yeah silliness out. Um, yeah well that yeah, silliness probably we'll ain't gonna be there i mean well. mark you're pretty silly but i i have a feeling i'm on on the uh enfor not the enforcer but mark's like yes and serious stuff and i'm like yeah boobs <laughs> <laughs> and then mark it brings mark out a bit <laughs> yeah you're, you're you're a good influence <clears throat> yeah i'm not i'm a bad influence <laughs> but, but i'm never going i'm never going swimming with you though <laughs> why not come on mark come out here it doesn't look rough that's the thirty foot waves us an adventure. No, that's not a rip current. Yeah, <laughs> that's fine. Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah, I need a wee. I don't like weeing in the ocean. I'll I'll meet you out there. Bye. <laughs> it's fine. You've got band aids on. You've got one of those 
dry bag pulley things that the uh, the tri fleets have. It's yeah, fine. Poor boy. Yeah, poor boy. <laughs> It'll be all right. Or as they call them My in America, buoys, which I think is really weird. Buoy. Buoys, mate. Yeah, the, there's too much emphasis on the way it's spent. Uh, spelt, sorry. Yeah. Buoy. Buoy. Yeah, because yeah, it's like, like a buoy. So a BCD is a, a buoy control device. <laughs> <laughs> sort of. <laughs> anyway, I think we're. I think we're. Yeah. We're, we're, we're. We're just. We're just rambling. Oh, I'm just rambling now. That's exciting. Anyway, yeah, back to the, the question. I'm minutes, excited. Yeah. That is really cool, man. Mm-hmm. Getting back into the yep. products, continuing the podcast. Uh, I think you're totally wrong about Instagram. I think that's going to overtake <coughs> YouTube. But hey, yeah. My opinion I does just, not matter. No. I'm only joking. Now, I, yeah, for us, I, I don't think it's the the influence, the the platform. I mean, the, we'll still continue, but I think that's going to uh, sort of reduce in frequency. Uh, it's just, yeah. yeah it's great. Whatever. Hey, mate, maybe, maybe less is more, man. <laughs> so, yeah, that's it. Quality, not quantity. Well, look, all I will say is, guys and girls. I scheduled yesterday, as long as I go live, because we're having an issue with that at the moment, or, yeah, uh, should we say, I've, I've, every other day throughout December, there is a nice uh, post, like a, what's it, uh, an inspiration post, or, you know, to get you, to get you diving, so you've got that throughout December, um, yeah. so that's yeah. cool, but yeah, that's that depends nice. on whether you, uh, Facebook actually want to schedule those videos, like, schedule those posts but yeah it's the it's a complicated um behind the scenes system isn't it sean it's, it's not the most straightforward it needs to be <clears throat> what it should be way more easy than what it is you press schedule and that's it but no they don't want to no. no no they're like oh no it fails like why did it fail why did why did that post fail? Yeah, i don't know but you, you can post no. it now if you want them but, but why did it fail two hours ago when it didn't need to <laughs> Uh, anyway, yeah, have fun with that. Company that size, yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm leaving that well and truly point. behind. <laughs> anyway, so, that's stretch him. yeah, that's it for the podcast. That's it for Sean. Bye, Sean. Yeah, um, let's do. Yeah, <laughs> don't forget to uh, sort of follow and subscribe wherever don't you're listening unfollow to us. us. We all suck. Um, rate us with uh, five stars or whatever it is, and uh, sort two of stars when you can. It helps the channel. Um, yeah, it says he rode to 10,000 on Instagram. Uh, yeah, that will happen one day. Um, hopefully, it's by the end of next year. Don't know. It might. Um, but Which yeah, means head it over won't. to Instagram. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> we, um, we do announce a lot of things on Instagram as well. So for the latest news on uh, sort of Simply Scuba or any like discounts or um, offers, they'll be on Instagram. So head over to there and uh, sort of follow us at Simply Scuba. Um, of course, head over to the website, especially now because we've got the Black Friday deals. Um, they will switch off after uh, sort of Cyber Monday. So if you are trying to get a bargain, now is the time to do it. Um, even with the discount, if something's still fairly expensive, uh, we do have plenty of buying options. Uh, we have something like Klarna and Adyen. Klarna just means that you can break up your payments. Finance is a 0% finance option, so it gives you uh, sort of a little bit easier, uh, especially this time of year, heading towards Christmas. Uh, Adyen just makes things a lot safer. Um, it sort of encrypts all of your information when you're buying stuff online through the Simply Scuba website. Um, don't forget to check out the Two Minute Foundation. Um, we sort of work together two minute help to uh, encourage people to just spend two minutes of their day when they're out and about just to uh, sort of collect any uh, sort of trash that's sort of floating around on the beach or uh, sort of on their way to work so yeah as long as it's clean uh yeah just pick it up put it in the trash um helps and the more we can make it socially acceptable to do that kind of stuff um hopefully more people will do it and we'll just have a, a cleaner environment if you do have any questions about scuba diving let us know in the comments uh if you head over to uh, to youtube any video it doesn't really matter just click on the uh, the most recent one uh or if it's something specific about whatever i'm talking about in the video let me know down in the comments below and if you use the hashtag ask mark or one word uh in your comments either at the beginning or the end then uh, i'll find it and i'll mention it in the friday ask mark show hopefully they're going to continue uh, sort of once a week uh, it basically depends on how many questions i get um 
I don't know, we'll decide. It might become a monthly thing. It might maintain as a, a weekly thing. It all depends on how many questions I get asked. But yeah, any questions, there are no silly questions. Let us know down in the uh, sort of comments below because if you're brave enough to, uh, to ask the question, there's going to be someone else who wasn't and, um, and they will never know. But if you ask it, then they will. So yeah, let us know down in the comments below any uh, sort of questions, comments, queries, or even corrections. Um, and I'll mention them in the Friday show. Thank you for listening, everybody. And of course, safe diving. Stay classy, scuba divers, for the last time. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very much. Um, my last video on surface interval, there's a whole outro there. So I'll, I'll leave it till then. And that's the 29th of January. That's when that goes live. But yeah, as of now, as of live recording, thank you very much to everyone. Um, I've enjoyed working with the community. I've enjoyed help building this community. Um, and I can't wait to see what the future is for this channel and for Simply Scuba as a whole as a subscriber. So, yeah, stay classy, scuba divers. The Deco Stock Podcast is produced and recorded by Simply Scuba, the UK's number one dive store. Visit today at simplyscuba.com.